Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this little pre-video announcement before the video actually starts. This is the finished design. I will be getting into designing it when the video starts. I'm just giving a little friendly warning because I just want to say I am, I, I was rather remarkably tired when recording this. And until we get into gameplay, I may sound like I'm half asleep, tripping over words, and being a bit of a numpty. So just a bit of fair warning there. I hope you enjoy it regardless, and the building gets done regardless anyway, so thank you, and back to the other greetings. Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft, and welcome to a brand new bay I have just bought. Today, sir and sirettes, we are going to be doing some science. I am I want to build something new, something I haven't built before, and I'm not 100% sure what exact tier it's going to end up in. But I don't want to be too, too high tier. I'm thinking about aiming for 6 and or 7, probably 6 if possible. We are going to be making a flying cruiser. So not a flying walker, not a flying tank, a flying cruiser. Wheels to land and then the ability to fly through the air with the greatest of ease. So of course we're going to need some tier 6 aerophiles and rudders. I don't have any rudders, do I? Nope. There we go, lots of thrust as well. Let's have a quick, we'll have a quick roll call first, see what we've actually got available to us. Going to want uh, lots of tier 5 and tier 6 thrusters, in addition to quite a few level 2s, just so we can shove them in places. Uh, wheels wise, we of course want the highest tier available to us, so we want tier 6 wheels, if possible. Right, tier 5 steering, tier 6 wheel. Oh, it's. That, that's a weird bug. Have you, have you ever seen that happen before? That was bizarre. It like merged the TX and the um, TS6 together. Now, I'll probably want 6. That's probably what I'll go for 6. Now, this is going to be quite a low to the ground robot. I'm thinking about making it rail, though I may make it a plasma instead. So I'll decide that later on. So that's kind of the idea I want to go with. And it's probably how I'm going to end up doing it, at least so far in my head. That's kind of what I've got. So. I don't know if this will work. I don't know if it'll fail miserably. It'll all just we'll just have to fight. We'll just have to um, play and find out. Really, it's just a matter of that. There's no, there's no telling how well it'll do, how badly it do. Now, so things I want to consider. Then things I do need to consider are that um, number one, number one, I will have trouble actually landing the vehicle. Landing the vehicle itself is going to be a little bit. On the um, on the odd side, let's say it's going to be a, a bit weird because we're not going to have the the happy ability to land as we wish quite so much. If you know what I'm trying to say, if we are a cruiser, we don't automatically stick to the floor quite so much. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. So, so I'm fighting with core ideas in my head because I don't like copying um, different people's cores and such. I'm just going to think to myself. What could we? What would you really want to do then? So essentially, we're going to need downwards thrusters. That's what I was trying to say there. We're going to need downwards thrusters. That is something that is simply a necessity. It's simply something that's going to have to happen. Otherwise, well, we're never going to be able to, to, be able to land. And of course, being able to land is certainly something I'm very interested in. I find that landing does add a certain quality to the robot. So that's a start. Being able to land. So for that, yeah, downwards thrusters first. Uh, rudders, at least one on the back, so flight can be, you know, possible. And after that, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Don't really want it to be too wide either. There's another thing. I want it to be quite low to the ground, quite sleek, and not particularly wide. So uh, about three high for the core section, and probably no higher than two for most of the rest, if possible. So, how are we going to do this? And this is something completely foreign to me, and certainly a weird idea. So the wheels, I'm thinking to be as to be as uh, to be as stable as possible are going to want to be quite low down uh, and quite splayed out just so it adds a bit of um, landing capability. And this is going to go forward a bit and then perhaps one more here. And then one further down like so. I'm thinking possibly, would it be possible at all to perhaps put the rudders in between these? Thus enabling a bit of a, um, a bit of a, I don't know, just everything's kind of on one plane kind of idea. So put one there, that goes there, this can go 
further. Being long is fine, just don't want to be wide. Yeah, something like that. I want to see if that actually works in any way, shape, or form. Let's just let's just throw on tier ten thrusters and some thrusters, and let's just see if that will actually fly. If we had enough thrust, of course, right now we are a lot lighter than we'll be in the future. But the future is not now. Into the practice mode, and the science gets done for the people who are still alive. Let's see. We oh lord. Oh yeah, that. It's a bit too light at the moment, so the lift's going all over the place. But if that wasn't the case, I think that actually be okay. We could use aerophiles, though, I think, on the back, too. Rather than rudders. Also, we have a lot of space. Because we only have two sets of rudders at the moment for this entire thing, I'm thinking we should add aerophiles instead of the back ones, and then start building again. Excellent. Just need more space. Now, I could go there. However, you see, I'm thinking we put the guns on top, and that way we avoid issues with the... With the thrusters and guns and everything getting in the way of the aerophiles and vice versa. So I think that's how we're going to try and do that. And then we'll see if it actually becomes something that's of any interest in keeping it that way. So there we go. Leaving as an undercarriage. Wonderful. Just Oh, of course. We want to be light, don't we? So we probably would be doing ourselves a great service by using inners rather than regular blocks as they are a third lighter each so this does take away a lot of the weight so actually we're going to want to buy a lot of inners there we go couple of hundred because why not ah was that in the core? I don't think it did good 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 now I know that core can be improved and I've seen some really epic variations using tetras but I don't know them yet, and I'll look into it in the future, so and so. It'll be something I'll do certainly in the future, but not right now. I'm thinking we do this, to attach that to that a little bit better. And then, so what do I want to be, rails or plasma? That's a big question. Rails or plasma? That's, you know, I've got quite a few rails at the moment, so I'm thinking plasma might be the better idea, but if we make it four rails, we can always add plasmas later, because, because rails are the bigger of the two guns. If we make it for plasma, there's a good chance we won't be able to swap out the gun in the future, so... Oh, I hate that. It's like, uh, how you meant to place this one block there? And it'll still be symmetrical with the spikes. There we go. Now, I am ridiculously tired by my so interest. I have not slept well for the last couple of days, and my work, I am. So, t I'm not fighting my eyes to stay awake here, but I figured if you want to do anything in interest, you do it like this. You do it when you're tired and you just kind of throw things together. That's when the best science happens, and so it's, trust me, I'm a scientist. Now, I don't like the fact that we've only got one point of connection, actually. That is something I do not like. I do not approve of this. So how would I go about rectifying this issue? I'm thinking perhaps we connect it to two places, then. Put it on there, then that can go attach down and then down goes to the side there we go oops X there there we go and that'll add an extra point of connection on this side then we'll just do the same on the other side thus adding two more points of connection thus everyone's happy now what happened here because that was connected oh of course we, we deleted the spike didn't we so what I want to do is that okay so that attaches to that only okay there we go this is currently attached to the spike, I believe. What did I do? How did I screw it up so much? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I see where I derped. I see. Attach it like that. And then a tetra there. And then that's two point. That's one point there, but we could easily make it two points if we change the front. Just a little bit, but I don't think I want to. Hmm. This is. No, this is a bit of a confusing one for me. I'm learning so much, I'm slowly learning all this stuff. And that's the important thing. Okay, yeah, sure, attach it like that, then that one could be attached by moving this tetra out and attaching it like that. And then this tetra gets moved and attaches like that. There we go. So we've got four points of connection to the core without making the core too vulnerable. Problem is, I've just realised that is so vulnerable. I think we need to move the entire thing down one in terms of the armor, because currently any blast at the bottom wasn't going to be blast the arse off this thing, so I'm thinking we could do 
So rather than do that exactly, is make a line down here, a bit of a spinal cord, a spinal column going all the way down. Then we have the wheels on this, back to mirror, back on this section, then have the aerophiles one up as they are. This way it provides a bit of extra protection for both the aerophiles and the wheels, in addition to adding armour to our seat. In fact, we could argue, we could probably put, put, put in more wheels now since they probably won't clip as much. Nope, they will definitely still clip as much, never mind that. And it does put a little bit of white on the bottom, which actually isn't a terrible thing, so it will help us balance out a little bit. There we go. Never like building with Tetris. It always looks very odd at the end, but there we are. It's a, so much lighter, though, so it'll help out, it's going to help out so much of our flight. They're all Tetras, yeah? Yep, yeah, good. Okay. Sorry, Inners, rather, not Tetras. Tetras, Inners, same diff. Ooh, we actually put them on here as well. I'll think about that. Okay, let's put on some thrusters once again. This time the tier 6 thrusters, and let's see just how well this thing actually does in flight. Let's see if that's enough thrust as well. Because we're already go going to the end of tier 6. So we need to add guns soon. I don't think I'd want to add more thrusters than this. Please just work. It'd be so nice if you just work, Okar. Whee! Uh, oh! Well, I've got an aerophile on one side. I've got a freaking... whoops a daisy Apparently I didn't <laughs> mirror the aerophile. Also going to need a main rudder, I just thought. Plunk, and let's just make sure it's mirrored completely. Oh, where'd that go? Went here. Yeah, there we go, yeah, it went there. Then we put a rudder there, and then we'll try again. Oh, I press practice. There we go. Who's a good Robocraft? Yes, you are. And fly, my beauty! Yeah, that fly. Okay, yeah, that definitely flies. It's very liable to jump upwards, but that. Is a flying car, essentially. I can't. It is what it is, and it does actually work. Okay. Definitely need shielding there. I'm gonna say I will say that although I'm not a big fan of shields normally, this thing really does need shields. Definitely needs downwards thrusters as well, but like a balanced downwards thruster so it can stick to walls and such. Does it drive normally if you don't start to fly? Yeah, it drives decently. We okay. Shields first or weapons first? I'm thinking shields first. Get to weapons later. So tier seven shields don't really want to use those if possible. Tier five, I think I'm, I think I think I think I know how I'm going to put the shields because we can do this quite easily. So to that extent, we'll protect any arms we stick out for the guns. Just because I'm thinking we can stick an arm out here and then an arm out from the top. How many more in the blocks? So we have loads. Okay, good, good, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, and there we go. And again, we're making it as a rail right now, but we're going to swap over to plasma afterwards. Just this, just to make sure that I can make it a rail if I do so choose in the future. Plink. Put one just at the front here; it'd be quite easy. Oh no, it won't. Oh game, can I just do what I say for once and make me look smart? Oh, it'll be quite easy, will it, Lathrix? <laughs> just try and place it, mate, and then I'll place it, and it all screws up. Downward thrust doesn't have to be too powerful, so I'm thinking we can use tier 4s here. Uh, to make two at the back like that. Uh, I was hoping they could fit there easier, but they can't. Two there, then two there, and then that will act as the front ones, and then two front. Okay, that should, that should hold us to the ground somewhat. And oh, now it's definitely going to hold us to the ground, okay. Only issue, yeah, plus. Yeah, because I've put a few more at the front, it just means that shift will still send us down, which is what I was worried about just a second ago, and I'd have to worry about it now. Which is always a good thing. So, obviously as a rail, this would work better because of the front placement there, but still. Could have just do that. Put it in the middle there, but that's not going to shoot. Okay, I think these two need to be back there instead. So let's just do that. So place these back here. Here. Like so. A centre one there, then we need two, and these two can simply stick out from the side more completely, like so. 
and then pop them there and there. Extremely vulnerable to being knocked off though. I did just see we tiered up, that's fine. One thing I was thinking of is perhaps actually lowering the tier of the wheels, honestly. Perhaps to 5 or 4, because they are taking up a lot of ranking for uh, not much actual usage, so I think I will do that. Excuse me, Cap DFI, thank you. Delete that. Oh my lord, yeah, that's a lot of ranking we just saved, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to have to do. Now, let's try and shore these up. Actually, I can't, can I? Because how the winglets are done. Well, they're going to have to be as they are, I'm afraid. Could put it like that, but that's stupid. Looks a bit silly, really. Let's start armoring up the back, just so we can have some protection for our seat, and our seat is all happy and well and protected. Uh, just use the prisms, I suppose, to finish it off. Use this, do that. And then do we have any more inners from, from, from perhaps another tier just to finish it off? Yes we have. Excellent, excellent. And then the seat is completed. The seat of power. And that should work as it is now. Not the best, certainly, but for a first attempt. It looks decent as well, which I quite like. I quite like how it looks in the end. What other shields do we have then? What lower tier shields looking at fours, threes and twos here? Honestly speaking, I'm trying to figure out where I could put shields just to make sure certain parts don't just blow up as soon as I get touched. That protects it a little bit, I guess. Not by much, but certainly a little bit. Uh, these won't be able to go here. Oh, so they will. That'll protect from the side a little bit. Lots of little bits here, so it's lots of little bits. Okay. What I can do is remove these from here. Still the front ones, still the front ones, still the back ones. Okay, let's test out that sh that that mess of shields then, and see if that actually works. Mostly looking at the weapons, honestly. Will that actually be able to fire correctly? Pew. Yeah, uh, yeah, it fires reasonably. And fly, my beauty. Doesn't need to win any awards for speed. Just needs to be able to actually fly. Which it does. Okay. What it could have done, I'm just thinking, what it could have done is simply made made a flyer and added wheels to the end, but that's... No, it defeats the purpose. We are a plasma bomber, but completely the wrong way around. Okay, let's land. Landing, and let's turn on all our down thrusters, and it sticks perfectly. Excellent. Actually, yeah, look at that. I can't even move w when the down thrusters are on, which is actually wonderful. So we can land, and when we landed, it's perfect. It sticks right to the ground. Like right now, I'm holding down the down thrusters, and as you can see, unless it goes over a bump, it sticks pretty darn well to the ground. Actually, act, acts like a pretty much like a normal car. In fact, how well does it go on um, like cliffs and such? Can we stick to a cliff? Turn on now, and almost. Yes. Uh, no, not quite. Almost though. Okay. Oh, that was a terrible shot, Lathrix. What are you even aiming at then? I thought he was staying in the air for some reason, though it clearly wasn't. Hello! There we go, he took off his leg. A joyous occasion for all the people. Yeah, that actually flies decently. Yeah, I'm happy enough for that. I think it would it'd, it'd do better with more downwards thrusters, and actually I'm going to add them, just the tier 2 ones, and also some sideways um, turners, so we can turn a little bit better. So, movement, tier 2 thrusters, and... Mirror mode, attach there, attach there, attach there, attach there. Ah, oh, really? That's poop. Move you a little bit further back then, and uh, that's not, there's not much else we can really do unless we change some of these into these, which actually wouldn't be bad at all. So, okay, we'll do that. Change your armor a little bit around here, just so we can afford a couple more tier 2 thrusters for turning. Which won't do much, by the way, Sanders. I know it won't do much, but trust me, I've I've had enough practice at, at, at just adding random tier twos here and there, and it actually helps out more than you might think. Not by much, still. I'm still not saying by much, but even tier ones and tier twos. Just that little bit of extra turning actually really does help out a lot. So I think that's that then. That is actually how we're going to be doing this. This is the vehicle I've made and from scratch, and it looks it looks reasonable, I suppose, and it might actually work. Who knows? I certainly don't. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so in threat, let's test this then. We're going to get into a game. We're going to keep on using plasmas for now, and hopefully we'll do somewhat decently. So back in a second. Need to name this thing. I'll name it afterwards. And we are back for our very first match. Hopefully this will go somewhat well. If not, then everything is sad in the world and I'm upset. So on the enemy team, there are two rails, which is my major concern. Honestly, there are many points of this robot which will simply be shot off with a decent hit. And I do realise this, but... Um Here's hoping we can avoid those and hit something and hurt something. And I've also just realised how freaking big we are. Let's just turn us. Oh, oh, come on! I was going to do a flip and everything, and he completely rammed me. Fine. I think we're going to stick on a wall. We're going to stick up there on the mountain and kind of hide there for a bit, and then wait for an enemy to come past and give him a quick barrage of plasmary death. I'm starting to think perhaps the gun, point guns on the bottom might have been good as well. Because who, who, who doesn't want to secretly be a bomber? And landing now. Oh, I love how the, how it sticks to things. Like instead of um, it doesn't take any time at all to you know balance out or anything. It just kind of sticks. I'm just trying to. Ooh, someone's got shot down in there. Any other enemies? I can't see any. Okay, let's move out. Don't want to be too boring. Don't want to do absolutely nothing today. Now it's probably going to be a rail somewhere. Oh, there's, there's a little Reaper there, I think. Yep, definitely a little Reaper. A little Reaper SMG. What a scummy design. Couldn't spot him either, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. Let's see if we can't, um... Oh! Never mind, I was going to say, let's see if we can't um, give him a bit of a shot in the face. But, thankfully, our rail was on point there. SMG Copter there. That's a weird position to be in. Mr. SMG Copter. And a rail tank there. Let's uh, give him a bit of plasmary death. And we hit the shield. Try again. We got hit. We survived amicably. We, we, we took damage like a pro there. And one shot, one kill. Absolutely wonderful. We are acting like a bomber, I do admit, at this stage. Now there's a plasma there and a medic. Obviously we want to go for the medic as soon as possible. However, I'm not... I'm not against shooting at the plasma if we can do that. Only one of our guns went off because we were at a terrible angle. Going at another terrible angle here, and not not in a terrible way in terms of being hit, just in a terrible way of I'm probably going to hit the floor. Oh lord, we're doing a dogfight as a cruiser. That's not what I was meant to do. It's not what I was meant to do. I am a bomb up. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh come on, get back up here and hide for a second. Okay, let let, let let's recollect ourselves. Aha! I can hit you back, sir. See, I'm not actually a bomber. I, I tricked you. You're a thruster stick in tier 6. I... what? I thought you were relegated to tier 10 in all your scummery. There we go. Landing. Oop. Landing upside down on purpose. Uh, that was definitely on purpose. Well, I did a lot of damage. And we're off. <laughs> Pro skills there by Lathrix, as always. What have I lost, which is making control so difficult? Oh, no rudder, okay, that's what I've lost. Flying quite well, though, all things considered. Okay. <laughs> we we were certainly more of a um, flyer than a than a cruiser that match, but, um, well, yeah, okay, let's, let's try that again. Let's try that again. What would I have changed there? There's not much I would have changed, actually. I was quite happy with that. Uh, we took damage and we took it well. The damage was not. We took two plasmas to the face, a bit of medic healing, and a rail shot. All in quite bad places, actually. And we took it well. I mean, the damage was just good. It didn't do much to us. So I think that's certainly something. I think more thrust and more lift would certainly both help out a lot with this vehicle. But I'm happy with how it is right now. And the fact we can act, act like a regular cruiser if we wanted to certainly makes it more enjoyable. So let's play another game and see if we can do better than that. Although I'm happy with that. Hello, cursed map. Okay, let's do this. Also, sir and threats, I was looking back on the previous footage I've just recorded, both the building and the game, and I've realised the downwards thrusters are actually causing us to lose a lot of speed when I try to go down without actually making us go down, which is a huge issue. However, I kind of need them, otherwise I'm simply not going to act like a normal cruiser when I want to be. Like right now, the only reason I am not taking off into the sky, and I'm actually remarkably quick, 
is be I'm actually very quick is because of the downwards thrusters. I can act like a normal um, cruiser when I want to. If if I let go of the thrusters, as we can see, I am now in the air. <laughs> so that is something. Also, I'm so sorry for being so tired sounding in the building section. I am really not not with it today, so sorry. But I'm in the mood to record. I may have recorded some other things before this, and well, it seems to be taking its toll. Who are you firing? There's a plasma over there, plasma over there. Perhaps SMGs would be good for this. Actually, SMGs would be good for this. Oh, SMGs would be better than this, actually. Hello! However, I do I do have a certain lack of plasmas at the moment in my arsenal, so... Let's just flip around, and a gift kind of hit him. That plasma's going to hit us, though. Most oh, oh, sorry, no, that, that is a medic. I didn't see the thing properly. Let's see, can we stick to a wall over here? See, this is where a walker has us beat. I would love to be able to stick to this wall properly. This with all of my thrusters going on. Oh, I finally stopped. It's just time to be hit. But on the upside, we can give some return shots. You know what? I'm just going to stand here, let him get some revenge. Practice how how well we can take damage. We lost it. I'm kind of looking. For, I'm kind of looking to lose an aerofile because I want to see what happens. We can actually take damage ridiculously well. <laughs> ridiculously well. Um, the enemy is capping our base, let's go. Also, we did actually stick quite decent. This match, I'm a lot happier with the robot, actually. I think I was acting like a normal... I think we need to try and act more like a normal cruiser more often with this design. Because we're actually quite tanky. I think the flying should only be used when necessary. It shouldn't be the main form of transport, because it's just too bulky to do that. Oops, I'm trying to come over there, see if we can say hello to him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello! Yeah, he said hello. Moving back, don't want to be hit. Oh, he's heavily damaged. I didn't realise he was in such low health. I thought he was in much higher health than he was. Now, I don't even want to... 73%. We're on about the same. He's an SMG. Don't even want to get close to him. But I do want to hurt him. Uh, must... Oh, you see, that's how the flying should be used, so interesting. We are learning. I'm much happier with this match. Much happier. I figured out how to use this, this freaking robot. It's a fast cruiser that has the ability to fly when necessary. Essentially, the aerophiles are being used in the sense of um, hover discs are used on a cruiser hover hybrid. They're not the major form of transport. They're simply used when they are necessarily good, when there's a situation, when a situation arises where that particular mode of transport would be useful. Like just then, getting across that gorge very useful to be able to fly. Um, going from one mountain to another, being able to fly, and getting out, out of a really bad situation somewhat quickly when you, when you need to go in a straight line. Again, the aerofiles are very useful. So I think with that, Sir and I'm going to wrap it up here, and I really do think that SMGs would actually, now think about it, if we go for tier 6 SMGs rather than tier 6 plasma, we're probably going to save a lot of ranking, or at least a bit of ranking, which we are. So we could actually do some upgrades in terms of armor and such. The problem is tier 6 SMGs and tier 6 aren't actually that great. Whereas the plasma can do enough damage with splash damage to kind of cripple things. So, that's my lot for the day. So, I hope you have enjoyed the video and enjoyed the gameplay. Enjoyed the gameplay, enjoyed the matches, enjoyed the design, just enjoyed life in general. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you could take five seconds to hit the like, favourite, share, and all that other good stuff, it really helps out me, helps out the channel, and of course, puts a smile on my face. I will be accepting names below. I'm not sure what to name this just yet. I'm sure I'll think of something soon, but... I'm actually ridiculously happy with the vehicle. After that last match, I figured it out. It's kind of the penny dropped, as it were, and I'm just happy. So, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day, and do take care. Goodbye, Sony Sets.